Hey, thank you very much for coming tonight. Um, we started this many, many years ago as a way to kind of put a ending to the season, not just walking off the field for the last time at a competition. We wanted to find a way to acknowledge all the students in the band. They wear uniforms all year and they all look the same and it's nice to uh, get their name called instead of just being one of 200 of the band members. So if you'll bear with us, we want to introduce every single kid in the band. Um, and they do it in some interesting ways. Some are more interesting than others. So uh, we're going to start off with our flute section now. Here's the flute section. the flute section they gave everybody a nickname so let's see if it's appropriate for each of the, of the people uh, we'll start off with Brooke the penguin Begwin <laughs> then we have Nora the Explorer Lozar <laughs> Lauren the Hobbit Hobbs <laughs> Carly Foosball the second Foos Morgan Freeman Siebold. <laughs> Ayana the Iguana White. <laughs> Lauren Nelson Nelson Nelson. <laughs> Catherine, not Jenna Dahl. <laughs> Jenna, not Catherine Ledden. <laughs> Spencer, the Cook Baker. <laughs> Harris, Cindy, Lou, Who, Sobolski. Morgan, the Count, Lee. Cammy, Kamala Sue Parker. Janie, Fight Master JJ Watson. Kiana, it's not Kiara Bailey. Haley, mitochondria baby, Knopf. Yasmin, the glue, Yano. <laughs> Peyton, our hype man, Manon. <laughs> Lydia, TBD Gleason. <laughs> Asia, the whoa, Patel. <laughs> Shalina, twin of Kamala, Ramirez Kennedy. Cassidy, Witch Laugh Peterson. <laughs> Ezra, Clam Time Campbell. <laughs> and Cameron, Band Mom Hacker. <laughs> That's the third section. Next, we'll go to our clarinet section. And they are. They decided to do a most likely to list. So uh, the most likely to get into a fight with a band mom, Sue Hawk Kassam. <laughs> most likely not to get her driver's license until she's 30, Riley Watson. <laughs> most likely to go to jail, Amelia Childress. <laughs> Most likely to marry a rapper, Layla Dom. <laughs> Most likely to be the next Da Vinci, Nisea Francom. <laughs> Most likely to show up at BLA with Christmas Crocs, Ashlyn Bristol. <laughs> Most likely to do runway makeup, Megan Devine. <laughs> Most likely to be the mom of the section, Elise Tompkins. <laughs> This is weird. Most likely to marry Mr. Jarrett, Jenna Roethlisberger. <laughs> Most likely to twirl a clarinet like a flag, Lily Odom. <laughs> Most likely to show up in cosplay, Evie Hochter. <laughs> Most likely to become a bodybuilder, Olivia Brooks. <laughs> Most likely to be able to march the show a year from now, Amaya Frankham. 
most likely to be a marching band legend, Madeline Beasley. Most likely to go the wrong way on the crab charts, Veronica Hoffman. Most likely to be stolen by the flutes, Katie Young. Most likely to overdose on protein shakes, Laura McNaught. Most likely to like feet, Austin Johnson. Most likely to march in heels, Olivia Vulcan. Most likely to wear a dress to practice, Madison 80. And most likely to talk to Bacon's parents for three hours, Kaylee Jeffers. That's our clarinet section right here. All right, saxophones, you are next. The freshman saxophones are Jonathan Gandolfi. Zach Hammond. Lizzie Hansen. Brooklyn Lawhorn. Delaney Miller. Someone wrote Cadence Raquel. Who is Cadence Raquel? <laughs> How about Caden Raquel, everybody? Andrew Robinson. Woo! Sabian Simpson. Woo! Mallory Thrash. Woo! Owen Evelair. Then our sophomores, Luca Bellini. Woo! Gaspar Kovarugas Zaninga. Zach Ritchie. Yeah. Ian Smith. Yeah! Tessa Stewart. Woo. Our juniors, Claudia Abaki. <laughs> Heidi Fountain. Woo. Kylie Foos. Woo. Rachel Grody. Woo. Jacob Hope. Woo. Braden Killian. Woo. Lydia Shabel. Amelia Thornton. Jenny Webb, Kyle Widener, they are seniors, and one of them is still playing soccer. Uh, our soccer team made they made it to the next level, so they're playing tonight. So Evan Coleman, if you were here, uh, Levi Frost, Ethan Hersha, Jillian Jordan. It's getting weird, saxophones. Uh, Lydia Magyar. <laughs> Peter Slaysack. <laughs> Drew T. <laughs> Colson Evelair. <laughs> All right, Ryan, don't disappoint, buddy. Ryan Whitehouse. There you go. Section. I need some help from need some help from Mimi Davis real quick. Come here, Mimi.
The trumpets are, and, and we're going to go with the baby trumpets first, and they are confused. The baby trumpets are Madison Bird, Gabe Gathanis, Lindsey Greenley, Anthony Headley, Samantha Johnson, Ella Trevelyan. And then we have some infected trumpets. We have Nick Anand, Eli Barton, Sam Bowers, Kylie Jackson, Wanda Lindquist, Jamie Marriott, Nick Traficante, and Nathan Wheeler. Then we have our loud trumpets. They are Mimi Davis. Natalie Heaton, Aiden Hegarty, he's playing soccer, Kent Markley, Colin Marriott, Adam Pilashevsky, Jacob Schlenker, Jacob Tester, and Aiden Trevelyan. And then finally, our endangered trumpets, Sean Johnson, Lizzie Strumming, and then our trumpet captain, who is sick tonight, Andrea Penrose. That's a trumpet session. And then next we'll go to our mellophone section. And we'll start with our seniors. And our first senior is Micah Perkins. And Mara Pletcher. Then our juniors, Anna Caper and Addie Weibel. <laughs> our sophomores, Abby Goen, <laughs> Megan Harrison, and Avery Sanborn. <laughs> and our freshmen, Callie Jansen, <laughs> and Emma Kasson. <laughs> That's our Melophone section. Next, we'll go to the trombones. All right, the trombones are Tim Votic, Ella Teets, Jasmine Hernandez. We lost Jasmine. Matthew Bletzinger. Abby McNamara, Evan Chuck, Hayden Hunt, 
Savannah Smith. Second year freshman, Roman teacher Ralfo. Avery Rosa. Ethan Whitaker. And Evan Huntingford. That's our trombone section. told me a long time ago when she was a little kid her parents said we want to have chicken tonight for dinner this is a true story by the way go out and grab a chicken and wring its neck and then bring it in so my grandmother she was little she's like okay she goes out there and she grabs the chicken and she wrings its neck but doesn't break it and so the chicken's neck is laying on the ground walking around and she had to chase the chicken around that kind of reminded me of that So, Grandma, wherever you are, we, I just told your story. All right. Um, next, we have the baritone section. And they are Nick Eugen, <coughs> Sr. <laughs> Ryan Kiefer, Sr. Let's go! Seth Huntingford, Sr. Rachel Nielsen, Jr. <laughs> Helen Caper, sophomore. <laughs> Caleb Boykin, freshman. Cameron Bartels, freshman. <laughs> Mark Gutierrez, freshman. And David and Ross, freshman. That's our baritone section. Next are sousaphones. Yeah! Let's go! And they are Clayton Burkhalter. Woo! Owen Erickson. Love you! Liam Henry. Will Jones and Connor Hersbrunner. Alright, so um, every year Stevens has these little ticks that he just does during band. And it's like like he'll say one more time and he doesn't really mean it. Um, I'm doing better. <laughs> um, he'll he'll show us videos of like Marian Catholic, or not Marian Catholic, but like DCI videos, and he does this every year. Um, one of my personal favorites is that him just telling us a story that he's already told us for like the fifth time. <laughs> and so um, I thought it'd be a great idea to um, make a list of these and assign point values to them. And so then I went around to the band and I was like, okay, um, so give me like an estimate of how much you think he, how many points he's going to get. And so um, I, got, I got some estimates, and throughout the season, I kept track of everything he did that was on the list. <laughs> hey, it can't be more focused than I would have been. <laughs> okay, so um, uh, we have the grand total for this year was 314 points. All right, now, now for the fun part. So. Um, there was one person who actually came pretty close and was actually within six points. So, um, Seth Honeyford, could you please stand up? Yeah. 
for 314, his guest with 320, so congratulations. <laughs> I really have gotten better, I promise you. <laughs> I do not say one more time unless I mean it, except when I forget. But I'm real, I've gotten better. All right, next, our front ensemble, also known as the Pit. <laughs> they did Most Likely's also, so Paige Bundy is most likely to say she's going to be really mean, but then is actually not mean at all. <laughs> Caitlin Taylor, most likely to stand on a marimba, but don't do it. <laughs> Natalie Doyle, most likely to be picked on for being a ginger. <laughs> Cameron Frost, most likely to say, yes, um. <laughs> Abby Lovin, uh, most likely to want to be the nice one. <laughs> Josiah Avery over there, most likely to have a tambourine part no one knew about. <laughs> Max Bartlett, most likely to correct Paige's tempo when she's counting off. <laughs> Peyton Hunt, most likely to need a stool to play the chimes. <laughs> Maya Lee, most likely to be quietly sweet. And finally, Lauren Olson, most likely to be late. <laughs> That's our front ensemble. All right, drumline, put them on. On base number three, JD Zendars. On base number five, Gage Williams. On base number four, Ty Zendars. On base number two, Wyatt Tabor. On base number one, Reese Plitcher. freshman color guard members. They are Brindley Allison, <laughs> Missy Corey, Rachel Corson, <laughs> Timothy Coverley, <laughs> Ella Harriet, <laughs> Boston Hart, <laughs> and she actually had a pretty serious car accident yesterday, Eliza Noonan. <laughs> she prayers tonight. She it was a pretty serious accident last night there by McDonald's in case you drove by and saw that. All right, our sophomores are Kaylee Allison, Audrey Botney, Kenny Coleman, Sophie Deck, Alexa Dawn, Mallory Fonte, Sarah Kyle, Abigail Lowenstein, Carolyn Morgan, C.C. Parrott, Meadow Perkins, Kennedy Sexton. Our juniors are Emma Beto, Maddie Gilbert, Emma Schweiger, who's sick tonight, and Sarah Thompson. Our seniors, Lane Brock, 
Ken Bullock, Josh Coverly, Risa Hamaranis, Kaylee Kirby, Amanda Williams, and our guard captains, Kayla Emmer, Lexi Moore, Cora Walker, and Lexi Watkins. Get it together, sweetie. We have a show this weekend. <laughs> That's our color guard, right there. your phone back. <laughs> All right, band, come into concert arcs, please. a big year for us as you are well aware in just a couple months we're gonna be on a plane to Phoenix Arizona um, the beautiful weather the sunshine and a fabulous parade we're gonna be a part of um, really excited to go and the music we picked out actually was written for the Arizona State University band which is right in Tempe right next to, to Phoenix written for them, it's called a Scorpion, and I thought that it would be pretty appropriate to, uh, to play while we're out there. So we're going to do our cadence for you and our parade tune, and this is what we're going to be playing when we're in Phoenix. Uh, and just so you know, the kids know this, they're not really excited about it, but we have to start practicing for the parade. Um, it starts next Tuesday. It's going to be on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 7.15 to 8 a.m., twice a week. Um, I have to be here too, so yeah. I'm not really excited about it either, but it's one of those things you have to do if you want to be good. So, uh, except for November the 12th, which is the chorus concert day, we're going to do Tuesdays and Thursdays up until we leave. So, just so you know, if they're wondering why they're getting out of bed or you need to get them out of bed, that's the reason why, because we're going to start practicing on Tuesday the 5th uh, for our, our parade marching. All right, this is our cadence and parade tune. This is called S. Scorpion. One, two, one.
for a second. So, it's been interesting this week. I had a lot of people come and talk to me about the season and about the, the places we played for our competitions this year. And, and, this, and one question that kept, kept coming up a bunch was, how do they judge marching band events? What, what's the criteria? What's, I mean, how does it work? And so I would try to explain a little bit of how it works. And just so you guys know, uh, most competitions have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven judges. Uh, there are, there's one judge who's on the field who does music individual. So he has a, a score sheet and a, and a recorder, and he goes around and just walks through the band and hears the kids play individually. Uh, that can be kind of nerve-wracking for some people when, they're, when you're marching on the field doing your show and there's like a random person just walking around. But that's, that's kind of given now and that's pretty accepted practice and the kids get pretty used to it. Then there's a judge up in the press box who does music ensemble. So he listens to the entire band as a whole and gives the, the band a score. Then there is a visual individual judge who walks around the field and watches the kids march. Uh, are they in step? Are they doing the things uniform with the other people in the, uh, in the group? Uh, are they doing it the same? And then they have a visual ensemble judge who's up in the press box who watches the full band and uh, gives the, the band a score based on how well he feels like they, they march and maneuver. And then there are um, actually three more judges, so there's eight. There is a music GE judge, and GE stands for general effect, it's very subjective. Um, it's how well does your music depict what you say your theme is. And there's two of those. There are two GE music ju judges. And then finally, there is a GE visual judge who looks at your overall program, your color guard, your props, your costuming, you know, the choreo your, your band does, the choreo the guard does, your drum line, everybody, and gives you a visual um, ensemble score for GE. You put all those numbers together and you average the two judges each one, so you get a music score, you get a uh, visual score, and you get a GE score. So that's how it works. If you ever wondered why we get a certain score or what we get, that's what it is. So this year our, our show was entitled Balance of Power, and it became a little ironic as we finished up the season, just kind of, uh, it kind of came in full circle, and let me kind of explain uh, kind of what happened this year. First of all, we went to EIU. We took a year off from EIU and came back this year. And uh, they put us in class 5A. So uh, we competed against bands like Washington Community High School and, and other schools about that size. And uh, the band scored a really, for a first competition right out of the gate, an 81.4 out of 100 points possible, which that's a good score. And we actually, uh, when they started the announcement for the awards, they said, and music, first place, goes to Washington Community High School. And we're like, oh, okay, that's great. And then they said, and visual goes to Washington Community High School. And we're like, oh, okay. Because, I, I mean, we thought we did a pretty good job on the show. Then they said, uh, general effect goes to Muhammad Seymour. And we're like, oh, that's great. We won general effect. Good for us. Uh, auxiliary, we won that too. And then we won drum majors. So we were like, we split the awards, the caption awards with Washington. But you never know what the spread is in each of those categories. So Washington won music, Washington won visual, but we won GE. So it came down to the final awards, and second place, Washington Community, first place, Muhammad. So we were ecstatic. That was great. We were so excited. First one out of the gate, win a class championship. That's awesome. So we were riding on a, on a cloud nine, and the next weekend we go to Illinois Wesleyan. So if you remember that day, it was a little breezy, it was a lot breezy, and decided to get kind of cold for the first time. Uh, so we went to, uh, to play at Wesleyan at their, at their stadium. Uh, we actually got a warm up on a tennis court right next to Morton at the same exact time, which was fun. Uh, when band, two bands of 100, 175 to 200 uh, kids each trying to warm up at the same time, but we, we made it work. Um, and the kids will, will say this too, the cold weather kind of kicked us in the hiney. We didn't handle it too well. It was not of our best performance, uh, but we kind of scrambled and, and did what we could do and we got second place. So we were, we were pretty pleased in our class that we got second. So I got the score sheets, came home with them, and I, I'm, a, I'm a stat guy. I love numbers and stats. That's probably why I like baseball so much because I like all the little number stuff. So I started going through the list and every caption 
we were like second place or third place. You know, Morton won the show that, that night, and they looked fantastic. And I started looking at the, at the numbers, and we were like second place in this, third place in this, second place in this. And then all of a sudden, one category, we were 17th. <laughs> and it was, it was marching ensemble. We were 17th out of 24. And I was like, really? 17th out of 24? There, I mean, against all the bands that were there the entire day. I mean, even, even, the, even the smaller school, the 1A bands, even, even that, we were the 17th highest score. So I just sent a nice little email to, <laughs> to the guys in charge of the competition. I said, you know, I'm not, I'm not bummed that we came in second. That's fine, no big deal. But, you know, consistency is a really good thing. And maybe 17th and everything else is second or third is maybe not so consistent. I said it nice. <laughs> His response was, thank you, we'll look into it. That was all. So, in other words. <laughs> so the next weekend, it's not hard to get excited about playing in a BOA show. And we went down to St. Louis this year and got to play in the, in the stadium, the dome down there. Kids, it's probably our best performance of the year. I was, I was very pleased with them. They were pleased. Getting to play in that stadium and that, and that, just that atmosphere is just so uplifting and so much fun. And again, we had scored 81 the previous show in EIU, 76. Did our best show and got a 66.2. So, you know, again, judging is very subjective. Um, again, I wasn't bummed about it. I thought there were a lot of really, really good bands in the show. Uh, I told the kids, of the 14 bands who made finals, there were uh, 69 bands in the show all together in the entire show. And of the 14 who made it, nine played within two hours of us, so either before us or after us. Uh, the band right before us was Carrollton, Texas. They made finals. The band after us was Jinx, Oklahoma. They made finals. And we're not Jinx, Oklahoma, and we're not Carrollton, Texas, and that we held our own. I was super proud. The one you saw just a minute ago on the screen up there, that was our BOA performance. I thought it was fantastic. And then, this past weekend at the U of I, it was a little damp. <laughs> um, it, it sprinkled off and on. <laughs> My basement had uh, three inches of water in it. Uh, so all day Sunday I spent putting a new sump pump in because the other one burned up. Uh, but anyway, we got to play in the Irwin football practice facility. Really not a bad spot, considering last time it rained we played in the West Hall like sardines. So, you know, nice place to play, turf field, uh, kind of a dome stadium. It worked out pretty well. We scored an 84.78. And uh, we actually won the music caption. We actually won the visual caption. We actually won the GE music caption, but we didn't win at all. Um, remember I told you that balance of power and how things kind of come around at the very end? Um, in our first competition, Washington won music and Washington won visual. We won GE and we won the show. At U of I, we won music, we won visual, Monticello won GE, and they beat us by 0.3, 0.3. Um, we were first in every category except for one, and that was uh, GE Visual Ensemble. Um, the judge had us .95 uh, behind Monticello, and every the caption ended up, they, it swung in their favor by three tenths. So I, I emailed uh, the band directors at Monticello, congratulated them. One of them is a former student of mine, so it's kind of cool to... Uh, to get a say to her and to Allison Allender too, that just, we're, I was proud of them. They did a great job, they earned it, and we we're real excited for them. So, 84.78, Monticello 85.08, and that's how we ended our season this year. Um, again, I told the kids over and over how proud I was of them, how hard they worked. Um, we, have, we have an excellent band. The music we picked this year I thought was really interesting and a little different than what we've played in the past, and, um, I, just, I was just very, very pleased. How about a big round of applause for our marching band? <laughs> so I actually have next year's show picked out. We're going to play next year, if unless something weird happens and we can't, we're going to play music from American in Paris next year. So little Gershwin going on. We're going to play the ballet, hopefully, sequence from uh, American in Paris. 
We're going to try to play I Got Rhythm. We're going to try to play some Wonderful um, and maybe some Cuban Overture, too. So that'll be something to look forward to for next year. All right, we're going to play for our show now. Um, again, this is called Bounce of Power, the tunes of the show, in case you're interested. The first one is uh, named Khan, like Genghis Khan, uh, by Julie Giroux. Uh, the middle tune is uh, a favorite of mine. It's a beautiful song by Eric Whitaker called October. And then we close with some music from, if you've seen the movie Gladiator, uh, Hans Zimmer wrote the score for that, and we're playing Barbarian Horde from Gladiator. So without further ado, here's the marching band for the last time playing Balance of Power. Annie what? We're going to do some, some chai tea, yes. All right, so band, lay your horns down. We're going to do some chai tea. So we thought it would be nice, since our show is um, about the yin and the yang, and if you can see all our back, this depict that, we thought it'd be kind of cool to do some, some uh, Tai Chi. So we started doing it, and all of a sudden at the competitions, you know, you're, you're nervous, and you got all this nervous energy, and there's so many distractions. They started doing Tai Chi, and all of a sudden the band just went, and it just relaxed. <laughs> So we may do Tai Chi every year, because it's just, I kind of like it. So, all right, Annie, start with some Tai Chi.
people would bear with me for just a minute uh, I'd like to thank tonight. Um, the things we have to do are not able to be done with Mr. Meyer and myself. It takes so many people behind the scenes and in front of the scenes to, uh, to put on a show like we do, and I want to thank them right now. Um, big thank you. We have, I think, some of the best looking uniforms in the entire country. Um, if you are uh, a uniform mom, you helped out with sewing, putting, putting them together, getting them clean, shining shoes, all that kind of stuff, would you please stand? We want to thank you right now. All the uniforms. have a, it's like a pit crew that we go places and, we, and when we play, and a big thank you to all the parents who helped move either our front ensemble equipment, our props, our drum major podiums. Would you please stand and be recognized? I want to give a special shout out to Eric Loven. Eric was here almost every rehearsal about from the from the second half of the season on. He was our sound man. He was setting up and tearing down equipment every day after work when he would get when he'd get there. And we thank you so much for that, Eric. Appreciate it. We had three dads who took the time out to help us with driving our trailers and trucks different places. Um, Brent Fountain drove our, our giant trailer all, all season. And then uh, John Ross and Jason Tompkins drove our white trailer this year. Thank you so much. We had some really beautiful props on the field and um, that is due to uh, a family that I just am so thankful for. Uh, the Sanborn family, where are you guys? Sky, where are you guys? There they are, we're here. From, from day one, back in February, they were on board and uh, did a fabulous job designing the bases, the, the screens themselves, assembling them, getting them all ready to go, and thank you so much. They look great, thank you so much. Uh, Want to thank um, our tremendous staff that we have. Um, our percussion instructors, one of them um, started our season with us, had been here for a couple years, and then his class, he's, he's a doctoral student at U of I, and his class schedule got too much, and he had to kind of uh, bow out after, after band camp. And uh, we were so blessed, so incredibly blessed, to have a gentleman here in town who's like, I want to help, and uh, I'm retired, I don't have to be here, but I want to. And the drum line is so thankful. Mr. Russ Weber, right over here. <laughs> Funny story, last year he, we, were, we were practicing out in the field and he had just moved to town. And he's familiar with U of I. He, was, he worked with the, the marching line and drum line uh, back in the 80s. And so he knew a lot of the people that, that I know. And he drove up one day, and he's like, "Just there's this guy standing there watching us play. And I thought, well, that's nice. Someone's grandpa probably out there watching us. <laughs> he walks up after rehearsal, and he goes, uh, hey, I'm Russ, I'm Russ Weber. I just moved to town. I'm like, great. He goes, really like your band? Uh, I was like, fabulous. He goes, I used to work with the Cavaliers and the Marching Line. I said, like, oh. <laughs> oh, you did? He's like, yeah. He says, if you ever need help sometime, uh, just let me know. I said, I need help. <laughs> so... He's been, he's been fabulous, so thank you, Russ. We, all year, had one of the best color guards at anywhere. Anywhere. They were fantastic. At the Wesleyan competition, the only caption award they gave out was for outstanding color guard all day, and our color guard got the highest score all day. Um, Carrie Marino, uh, 
Carrie Marino works with our color guard. She's been with us for several years now. She is so wonderful. Uh, does an outstanding job. We're so we're so blessed to have her. They're going to be starting winter guard here pretty soon, and the kids are excited about that. And then. Um, for her last year, she's not, not going to be here with us next year, but Justine Helmer also helped out, and this will be her last year with us. So, uh, big thank you to Carrie and Justine. <laughs> We've had an unbelievable student teacher this semester. Student teachers are, are one of two things, really awesome or not. <laughs> As you remember, Mr. Meyer was a student teacher for me. He works with us now. Uh, this student teacher, I don't know where she is. Come around, come up here. This, this is Caitlin Nelson. She's a uh, saxophone player, U of I student, doing her student teaching with us. She has been nothing but phenomenal. And uh, a lot of the stuff that you saw with the props are happening because of Kaylin. So big round of applause for Kaylin. <laughs> and I am so very blessed to have the best uh, colleague that I could possibly have working alongside me. Um, if <laughs> come here, Mr. Meyer. Come, come on. I had a, a three-year thing with all the assistant directors I had after Mr. Watkins left. I had three years with Mr. Cotillo. I had three years with Mr. Barnish. I had three years with Miss Knight, Mrs. Knight. And then, all of a sudden, this guy comes along. He's broken the record. He's at five years now. And I have a desperate plea, all right? I know we can make this happen. First of all, where's Lori Larson? Lori, he needs a raise. My basement flooded too, so. And his wife is finishing up her uh, doctorate in English. She needs a job at the U of I. So if you work at U of I, we need to get her a job as soon as possible. Um, she's writing her, her dissertation right now. It's gonna be done very soon. We need to keep her here. So if you know people, if I don't, Wesleyan's good. <laughs> Illinois State would be fine. Uh, we would even take Eastern at this point. Uh, <laughs> I don't. I, I went to Western. I can't talk. I mean, I don't mean it that way. What I'm saying is, if we want her to stay here. Let's find her a job. That, that's your job. That's your mission. Okay. Thank you, don't Mr. Don't tell her that. Let's get real mad. Mr. Meyer. Mr. Stevens! Six more years of this, but I'm not counting. I'm not counting. Only six more. Um, this band has some fabulous uh, section leaders in it that really make this group go. Um, I give them tons of responsibility and they step up to the plate. If you're a section leader, would you raise your hand and be acknowledged? All section leaders. We also have captains in color guard and the brass and the woodwinds, the percussion section. Uh, you, you heard the uh, color guard captains while ago. They're over here someplace. Color guard captains Yay! and over here, color guard captains. <laughs> Our drum line and pit captains. Andrea was our brass captain, and she's ill tonight. And Suha Kasimov. Well, we and I, we acknowledge these kids at our um, 
our last football game. But um, if you're a senior, stay standing. If you're not a senior, would you squat down? Big round of applause for our senior class. Thanks. Three seniors this year. It's always tough to say goodbye. They are wonderful. They have been just a constant source of, of joy for me to see them as they have grown over the years, and we're really going to miss them. So, seniors, thank you so very much. We really appreciate it. All right. Uh, we're we're going to play one more thing, but it requires you to help us out. We're going to play our school song, so everybody stand up. All right, here's how it works. I'm going to blow the whistle and bring the band to attention. And they always yell, go, when they go to attention. So you have to, too. We're going to practice it once. I'm going to show you how it's done. And you guys are going to do it with us. Here we go. You got it? All right, here we go. You got to yell, go, with us now. Go! That was weak. That was weak. Let's do it again. Van Eddies. You got to be louder than them. Here we go. Let's do it one more time. Go! All right, there used to be the school song in here, it's gone, so you just have to know it. That's over there. Oh, it's over there now. It's over there now. Sing with us, clap your hands. Here's our fight song. Hey, once up. Oh. 